You're not supposed to do that. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do and focus on um, being more beautiful every day. Because this is what this is about. It's just about you being yourself more every day. Yes, um, you know, social media and all this stuff with screens and computers is rampant. It's just that um, the, this is also a blessing in this guy's an opportunity. We get to see and acknowledge the rest of ourselves all around the globe um, in, a, in, a, in a split instant. We get to see ourselves in the activity of the collective consciousness and the physical. It's just that it's our responsibility as mature souls to cultivate the level of compassion necessary to observe a lot of this uh, distorted activity and immature behavior and what have you and actually honor it and accept it for where they are. Once again, yes, I've done that before. I've been in that space before. I've been young. I've done silly things and this. Yeah, and we all have. That. Yeah. <laughs> of course, exactly. But this is us having the opportunity to practice being God. Us being God has everything to do with us being compassionate, us being unconditional, us being forgiving to all that we see. It's the nature of God, unconditional love. Can you see all of this stuff and still maintain a sense of love for yourself and the rest of humanity? Are you mature? Are you evolving? Do you really have that capacity within you to accept what you see? Not yes. just on this planet, but the rest of the galaxy. But this is... This is the training wheels. We have to see all of this stuff first and be able to accept it fully. We have to see humanity first and accept it fully before we go to the galaxy or other planets and solar systems. We can't even accept the humanity first. Look at the yeah. stuff on TikTok and what have you. Do you have the capacity of love to accept that? Yeah. There's some, some of it is rubbish, though. <laughs> well, once again, um... <laughs> This is, these are all expressions of, of myself. These are all expressions of me. Yeah. And yes, um, I've done rubbish. I've done silly, stupid things before. But once again, my love is just that deep. I love myself that Beautiful. much. And this Absolutely. is the nature of the And what would you say to someone who might be experiencing some hardship with uh, people in the family? And, mm -hmm. you know, how, what, because, you know, I've got a situation going on with someone like that. How, what would you say to, those people and uh, someone saying <laughs> that's so funny i don't fuck with tiktok <laughs> sorry derek that's yeah, yeah, I, got I got it i got absolutely well listen somebody somebody gotta be god around here somebody gotta be god yeah somebody step up love yeah everyone unconditionally somebody gotta do it and then yeah if you're experiencing hardship you're the one chosen to take the lead you're the one to see the experiences and be the karmic experiences for other people. Because once again, sometimes we're yes, in situations... I think that's completely spot on. Sorry to interrupt you, but I think what you just said about being the karmic for other people, Absolutely. I think that is true for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They're just recognizing Absolutely. that now. No yeah. doubt. But once again, um, the, 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 the head is heavy that wears the crown. So is the responsibility. So is the responsibility. Um, sometimes yeah. we have to yeah. serve as karma for other individuals because if they would have did what they did to us, to other individuals, they probably would have died. Yes, yes. But we're sure and strong enough to actually absorb those experiences, the emotional impact of those experiences, and transmute them like masters to take this, these emotions and have the, the alchemical experiences of transferring these emotions into inspiration and doing God's work here on the surface. Beautiful. We have that capability. So yes, it sucks while it happens, but once again, beloved, you're chosen to be the mature one in the circumstance. Somebody gotta be God. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so powerful, my God, I feel like my whole... I'm feeling so hot all over suddenly. It's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this great speech from Lavelle, it's wonderful, isn't it? And there's lots of people commenting. I'm just going to have a quick look at the comments. Thank you, guys. Jude is saying, God loves all, God accepts all. How is, now is all there is. How deep is your love? Um, <laughs> somebody's saying three hours of great moments talking about your uh, Sunday <laughs> Um, and somebody's saying, oh, I told that Uber driver that today. I can't remember what they, I don't know what they're talking about, but they bring fire, bring water, love, period. So, yeah, 
<laughs> there are comments from people. I think I'm missing the moments there's talking. There's lots of comments. Thank you, everybody. If you have any questions for Lavelle or any comments more, please do feel um, free to pop them into the chat box here. Kelly is saying everything changes with God, me. Yeah, wonderful. Good to remind people of that. And, you know, awesome. I think that this is, apart from grounding as well this year, what advice mm. would you give to people? Because obviously we're going to have these great portals coming up during the year as well. We're going to have Lionsgate, Definitely. you know, we're going to have the 1111 portal, um, the solstice, you know, all that stuff. And this is probably a chance to enhance the energies that are already enhanced this year um, <laughs> so what would you recommend people do around those times apart from meditation is there anything else they can do as well somebody's asking a question but i'll ask that in a minute okay here's here's a here's a great suggestion um well first and foremost follow your intuition the guidance system is it works it's integrated in your experience. Um, you would not be here with, or you wouldn't be left here short um, without that what you needed. Once again, the internal guidance system of the intuition, the body, all is infinitely intelligent. The higher self communicates with the emotional body, and of course the emotional body communicates with the logical mind if it's open and clear. Intuition is always going to lead the way, and it works. If anything, within this year, um, service, service and gratitude allows the, uh, the deepest miracles to unfold for us. Our service and our gratitude for being able to serve, to be alive, to exist, to create, to share. Um, with these energies, I feel that the most conducive thing to do is, I mean, of course, this is a year of seven. This is the year where we focus on God. It's talk, telling us to focus inside. This is the theme of this year. So, of course... Um, for me, it's it's only logical. Um, <laughs> if we're going to go into the year of God, it's important that we do what God does, and that's create. The creator creates, serves, yeah. and shines. The creator creates, it serves, and it shines. Without and loves, expectation. And loves, yeah. We, once again, it's, it's our service. It's what we love to do. That's why it's about us listening to ourselves and listening to our intuition. Um, we're being guided. This is a very spiritual year, a very intense year. Yes, yes, let go. But of course, the the emotions or your excitement is the ultimate compass. That's the compass of the heart space. Whenever you're um, in a, a, a space where you have to choose or make a decision, they always say, follow your excitement. Follow your love. Like, yes. go where your heart tells you to go and don't be scared. You have to have confidence in yourself. This is the nature of leadership. Leaders always go first. Trust yourself. Show Thank up. You. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, Derek is saying thanks for bringing that up. I also considered this. Um, somebody is saying, can you explain the importance of exercise? Hi, Rajan. Rajan is saying, can you explain the importance of exercise? throughout this multi-dimensional process? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Um, well, uh, I won't go too deep into the scientific aspect of it, but just consider the electrical nature or the electromagnetic nature or foundation of our existence, right? Um, yes, the body and 70%, 80% water and electricity and the... Um, the parallels of citrus having a lot to do with us processing the symptoms or ascension symptoms and emotions. Uh, we're assisting the body in processing this electricity, basically. And when it comes to exercise, us being able to gracefully process this, this electric or this electricity, um, it, it depends on us having this healthy relationship with our circulation. With our, with our physical vehicle, of course, the, the blood is where that circulation is taking place, where the electricity is moving through our body. So, of course, as we um, continue to take care of ourselves and stretch and breathe and water and lemons and limes and all sorts of kind of stuff, <laughs> we're assisting this electricity to move through our it body does. gracefully. Yeah. With absolutely to flow through our body and allow the upgrades to take place within. Because yes, it's, it, take, it takes place from, of course, an etheric level, but it comes all the way down to the physical level, whereas operators 
the expansion of our vehicle has a lot to do with us maintaining and taking care of our circulation so the stuff can flow through us. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Thank mm. you for asking that question, Rajan. That was a very practical question, and I appreciate mm, you yeah, asking yeah. that. Um, right, let's see what else. 